Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Saucy Reviews here on Internet Nobodies. I am your host, James. This week we are going to be continuing the Maritime Madness Saga. I think I worded it the exact same way last time. Anyways, uh, we're going to be continuing with the Maritime Madness Sauces. I have the box next to me so I'm going to go ahead and just reach and grab one. Where's the box? That's not the box. That's the box. Okay. So this here is Simple Hot Sauce Tropical Habanero. I I was pretty excited about this one. I do like fruity sauces. I mean, that's not horribly surprising. Uh, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? Anyways, though, I... When I saw this on the website, I figured I had to get it because it does sound pretty good. Uh, it, it's kind of hard to go wrong with tropical and habaneros. Uh, let's just kind of look at it though. Let's see here. A fruity but hot sauce with no added sugar. A naturally sweet flavor that pairs nicely with chicken, pork, stir fries, and more. And they're not joking with uh, sweet. Because the ingredients are... Habaneros, pineapple, mango juice, pineapple juice, mango, lemon juice, vinegar, spices, salt, xanthan gum. Uh, because vinegar is so low on here, I would probably recommend refrigerating this after opening. I, I'm kind of a maniac though, so I may not. We'll see though. Oh, I, I don't think I said anything about the last one, but uh, this is also five out of six peppers on the hot scale. There's a weird bubble on top. Oh, oh. Oh, that smells fruity. That smells very fruity. That smells, uh, I'm probably putting myself in a bad camp here. That smells an awful lot like pineapple on pizza, which I fucking love. Anyways, though, I think with that, I mean, <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm excited. That smells really good. So let's go ahead. I don't know why I put it back down just to pick it back up. Got to use that turntable, you know? I do want to say, there is a slight, like, molding error on the tip. I don't know if you can even see that. If you can't, I'm going to cut it out. But yeah, that's, that's a little strange. It shouldn't have any, any real impact. It was just something I wanted to mention. I had to figure out a better pattern for this. All right, that's a fair amount of sauce. Not as sweet as the ingredients would have you believe. Honestly, it is pretty mild as far as that goes. And, but you can tell there is a lot of sugar in here because it's pretty low as far as heat is concerned. Flavor-wise though, it is really good. I mean, it, it's, it tastes like their habanero sauce with like a touch of fruitiness from the, was it pineapple and mango? Like, yeah, that's, that's a lot. I would kind of expect those flavors to come out a little bit more, like have the habaneros be more of the source of heat as opposed to flavor. And it tastes a lot more just like flavor at the moment. As far as what I would use it on, I mean, it is, what did they say? Chicken, pork, stir fries, and more. Uh, Hawaiian pizza, definitely. Um, hot wings, it'd be pretty good on hot wings. Can't, it's hard to go wrong with that. But yeah, no, it's, it's a straight, it's a pretty good sauce. Uniqueness, it's pretty low. It's not horribly unique. Uh, I do like it though. Versatility, yeah, it is pretty versatile. I think I already said that actually. And flavor, it does taste really good. It's a little disappointing though, because I was expecting more of just like the BAM tropical. Anyways though, that'll do it for this week. I I do recommend the Maritime Madness Tropical Habanero. If, if you're maybe looking to get into like habanero sauces, this would be a good idea because it is pretty low of heat. Anyways though, thanks so much for watching. If you all enjoyed, please let me know down below. Please leave any sauce recommendations you have. I will try to respond to as many as I can, and please join us back here next week.